Hi, I'm Daniel Andrews, owner and creator of the DAN Show, and welcome to my latest 2022 NFL Mock Draft video. Today, I'm going to break down the San Francisco 49ers and what they could do with the 61st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. Now, if you're new here, this is your first time here, I just got to ask you, do you like football? Are you a draft junkie? Because if so, you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button, join the growing community of draft junkies and football fans that want to talk football 365 days out of the year. Now, what did the San Francisco 49ers do with pick number 61? Uh, first off, when I look at the San Francisco 49ers, I look at uh, their last three playoff games and they gave up a total of 47 points to Dallas, Green Bay, and the, and the Los Angeles Rams. That's less than 16 points a game uh, against three of the best offenses in the National Football League. Now, they did lose DJ Jones and Arden Key, but the way this team is constructed is that they were prepared to lose those players. As a matter of fact, those two losses don't even affect this team at all going into 2022. Plus, they added uh, Chardavius Ward from the Kansas City Chiefs. So when I look at this draft pick, it, it's got to be on offense. Uh, two players stand out as uh, potential choices. First is uh, Cam Jurgens, the Nebraska center. Now, yes, I'm fully aware Alex Mack uh, went to the Pro Bowl last year, but Alex Mack turns 37 this season, and the 49ers front office has to prepare for his eventual retirement or, or just simply moving on. I actually really love Alex Mack quite a bit. I wouldn't be surprised if when everything's said and done, he ends up in the Pro Football Fame. He really is that good, and he's had a... Um, possible Hall of Fame career, uh, but moving on is a possibility, and Cam Jurgens is a guy that I really like, and here's the problem, though, is that you have to ask two questions. Number one, do you want to draft a guy with your first pick in the 2022 draft and redshirt him, which basically you would have to do, or you can have option two, do you feel comfortable taking the center and moving him at guard for one year before you're ready to move on and have him be your starting center in 2023. Also, I'm not sure he lasts all the way to 61. This is a guy who's been skyrocketing up draft boards. There's a good chance he'll be long gone. However, if he is available at pick number 61, I think 49ers consider this player, but I think they go in another direction. The other player is uh, Calvin Austin, uh, the wide receiver out of Memphis. He's 5'7", 170, and if you remember, he ran a 4'3", 2 at, at the Combine. This is an electrifying player who would come into San Francisco and be the day one punt and kick returner. Now, Samuel and, and Ayak are excellent uh, run-after-the-catch receivers. Both these guys are really athletic, uh, but Neither of them have the speed to score anywhere on the field that, that Austin has. On a team like San Francisco, which is a run-first team with a great defense, I think, I think Austin's value is a lot higher for the San Francisco 49ers than it would be for a lot of other teams. Uh, that's why I really like Austin for the 49ers because he adds a dimension that they don't really have on this team. Now, unlike Juergens, um, I'm almost positive that Austin's going to be available at 61, but I don't have that as the pick. The reason that I passed on these two players is that I firmly believe the San Francisco 49ers won a day one starter uh, with this draft pick, and I have them getting one. With the 61st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select Jeremy Slayer, guard out of Georgia. Uh, San Francisco lost uh, Lakin Tomlinson in uh, free agency. And, and what's really funny is that if you read the scouting report and Lakin Tomlinson coming out of Duke, uh, uh, Jeremy Slayer's is almost the same exact thing. Uh, this is a very powerful guard who's going to be exceptional in run blocking, but he doesn't have a lot of uh, athleticism or nimbleness. And, and that's going to work just fine for the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, uh, this is a run-first team, and that's really what he excels at. And San Francisco running backs are going to love running behind this powerful offensive lineman. This is going to be a day-one player, and he's going to do a really good job in this offense. Now, 49ers fans, this is my opinion. This is what I think. I really want to hear from you. What do you think? What do you want the San Francisco 49ers to do with the 61st pick in the 2022 NFL Draft? Drop a comment below. 
Let's talk football. Now, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. Help this channel uh, grow and help this community out. Like the video. Please give me a thumbs up and ring the bell while you're notified every time I come out with a new video. Tomorrow, I'm going to break down the Denver Broncos and what they're going to do with the 64th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. So I will see you tomorrow.